so automatically you run changes the the label itself so let's put this one here hello guys welcome to my channel it's another video and you know what this is the right video for you because in this video i will show you how to perfectly use orion without making mistakes so my last video i showed how you can import um autocad file into orion which i will be showing the description above the link click it then you watch that video so if you've seen the video you can go on with this so in this video i will show you how to use orion csc if you need this file make use of the comment section below to tell me and then if you need the software make sure you make use of the comment section below hello guys this is my like it to subscribe for me for this video the button and the notification bell yes that red button so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video like this so let's start now the first thing we need to do here yeah, is to import our file which i did so the first thing we do is to pick our grid let's change it to direction one because we're moving like this so you can see that this grid snaps to the line like this so whenever it shows the box at the tip of the first grid line that is when we stop so right click and then draw drag it down so you want it to to perfectly be straight you can click on Control, press control on your keyboard which automatically lets it to snap so you drag it to this one when it shows the box again so you can release it so that is a grid line one then we we'll move to the second one and then um, do the same thing which changes to two automatically so that is how we do everything so from here to here again we click it from here to the next one from here to the next from the next good line here so you make sure that you are doing it perfectly and straight so actually this good line i did it with autocad just to make everything to to, to work, just to work fast so that is it so if you want to do the one from the left hand to the right hand we change the direction to 2 and then we change the label to A it automatically changes to A so we can do this and um, come down and um, select this okay so after that we'll take the next red line and then yeah and it snaps here so we we'll take this one too so automatically you run changes the the label itself so let's put this one here so this one will put it here also so make sure it is snapping to the tip of the grid line yeah done so you can press escape on your keyboard to leave the command so now we we'll, have we'll have completed um, making our grid perfectly and um, so straight so this is it so the next thing we are moving to now is our colon i don't know the way you make your colon 
because a lot of people have been watching this video and them my fans and my people so yeah actually we'll make this of 225 mm that's 225 mm colon so i don't know what you use there you can just make use of the comment section below so that we can interact together you know so here yeah, we're changing it to 225 and um, here also we're changing it to 225 which means the length and the breadth of our colon is going to be 225 mm so in this section which we can change the arrangement of the colon if we want it to be like this but here we are dealing with the center of the colon so we can just change it by ourselves by inputting 112.5 which is the midpoint of 2 to 5 so anyway we want to put our colon we can just come there so Orion automatically snaps the colon to the intersection of two grid lines so here I want to put a colon let's put one there okay here yeah, and put another colon another colon here so automatically Orion you see the colon are snapping into the intersection of the grids so we are putting another colon oh no no there's a mistake here so we can just select that here and then delete it so we go back to our colon command okay it's correct just the correct okay then we choose the uh, we will change it later okay then this two so we can just remove the one that we don't need actually we don't need this one we don't need this and this again so yeah we are done with the way we can use colon in we run actually we don't really need a wall now so let's move to beam so now we're changing the dimension of the beam based on the breadth of i mean the width of um, our wall which is 225 we also decide it is a design so i don't know what you use we also want to use it as 2 to 5 so that the beam and the wall will be aligned together so we're changing this to 2 to 5 and then we are making so the b2 is is um the middle of our 2 to 5 so the middle of our 2 to 5 is supposed to be 112.5 yeah so that is it so the height of our beam let's make it 450 so that is all we have to set now so here we want to put our beam so let's decide where we're putting our beam so we are putting our beam from ear to ear from ear to ear so click on that intersection of your grids then right click and then um, draw you can see that line draw it to the next place you want to put your colon your beam sorry so that is how it is done so the next place we are putting our beam, we are putting it here from here to here. Okay, from here to here also. Yeah, you're doing it. Then from here to here. So for that, so let's do the the next one, which is from here down. We want to put a beam there. We want to put a beam here also. We want to put a beam here also. So you can see that we want to put a beam here also. So we are putting another beam here also. So here too, let's put a beam there. And here also we can put a beam. Now you can be wondering that why am I not putting a colon here for this beam to rest on the beam and then rest on a colon. Actually, it is that colon and there's a point loop acting within this area so i already decided to put a, a colon and a colon here so this beam can rest within that but if you just decide so for for safety purpose let's just try to put another colon there so that is it 
So the next thing we're moving now is the slab. Uran is a very simple soft. I don't know why people um I don't know. So we go to the load and then since we are designing it as a room, so let's enter the value for a room. Uran automatically changes the, the dead weight and calculates all that. We don't need to, to do that. So here we're changing the height of the slab to 150. And then let's change the cover to 25. So you can see that Orion automatically sees what is to be there, like the box. So here we are putting a slab. Here we are putting a slab. Here we are putting a slab. But for for them, the design purpose, as a structural engineer, we decide the height of them, a slab based on its total area so you can see that this place is still small so okay do you want to save changes okay, so you can see that this place is too small we can just still use one but for this place for this portion it is too big so we can just change it to 175 mm and then we put it here then put it here then put it here so we are done with that so that is how we do it you can see it shows that this is a two-way slab 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 and um, this is also a two-way slab so that is it this is how we do it so let's come here so if we are designing this thing to be a two story you all you have to need is to come to left click on your story then you can let's insert a story first so here we want to make it a two story okay so this is the second story so let's come here to our story one no, to our story and then we can generate a story that means everything that we have on our first floor we want everything to go to the second floor so we can just click on story one and story two here so everything will automatically moves to the second story so okay so yeah we can now cancel it so everything that we have on story one is now on story two so let's check the 3d yeah, so you can see it now so this is how you model in Orion CSC18 now in the next tutorial I will be showing you how to set your an your building analysis and how to use your colon pad or how to design for your foundation thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe on that so make sure you click on <laughs> make sure you click on the subscription button that red button yes that red button so that you can get notified whenever i post the next video thank you guys we are together